Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to play Shenandoah. <laughs> Shenandoah is one of those songs that is so simple and so kind of well known that uh, you never even think of playing it. I probably heard this when I was around seven or eight and uh, never gave it a moment's thought. <laughs> it was a strange word, Shenandoah, uh, but uh, apart from that, I had no interest in this song whatsoever. And then recently I came across the Tony Rice version of this and I suddenly realised that this was an absolutely wonderful tune. and. Um, it doesn't take very much to turn a, a simple tune into a wonderful tune, and Tony Rice certainly knew how to do this. Shenandoah was an Iroquois chief who chose to fight um, with the early colonists against the French and later against the British, and his daughter fell in love with a white trapper, and um, the song is about that story. Um, it's such a simple tune, but I'm going to show you various things that you can do to add to the tune and to make it this um, lovely thing that it is. So, uh, I'll just show you first of all the un unadorned melody. <laughs> Okay, first thing to say, I think, is really take your time on this. Stretch it out, um, imagine those wild, wide open spaces. Um, if you hurry it, it's going to really spoil the tune. Um, lots of things you can do to it. Um, one thing is hammer-ons. Um, for example... So you're preceding a note with the note immediately below it and slurring it into that note. Here's another one. Here's another. And another. I can't tell you uh, how you decide which notes uh, re um, want to hammer on. Um, but it, uh, it's usually a longer note that appears at the beginning of a bar and particularly if you've already played the, the, um, the note down in the scale uh, such as here so your finger is already there on the first finger just emphasizes that note okay another one is um, think about your vibrato you, um, it's far better to play this with no vibrato than with vibrato on anything. And uh, sorry about, uh, to classical players, because <laughs> I know you'll find this a struggle. But I think uh, this... is far nicer in this context than... Which is what a lot of people will actually do. Uh, drones will help a lot to give it that um, down home sound. So uh, a lot of it's going to be A drones and D drones. And incidentally here uh, Tony Rice puts in a D major 7 chord. And to me, if you just listen to that chord as you're playing that A note, it gives me the shivers. <laughs> uh, 
Even after all these years of knowing what a major seven chord was, it still does that. You don't have to draw on every note and you can choose where and when you do it, but it will certainly add to the sound. Um, this will work well going up an octave. And uh, it gives you a different set of options for your ornaments and for your drones or double stops. And notice there I did. So for the D note, I was putting an F sharp under it. This is part of what I call the scale of sixths. Which is a very simple and easy way of harmonizing bits of a melody. Not all of the melody, but parts of it. Just going back to vibrato, I said don't do any vibrato. Um, I, I do do vibrato, but I tend to use it towards the end of a note. Like that, so it gives the whole note a shape. And finally, uh, you might do some little bluesy fills. And that is something that you're going to have to already have a vocabulary of blues licks to slip in there um, to make it feel uh, relaxed and casual. Um, so uh, I do have loads of blues licks <laughs> here and there on my fiddle channel, so uh, check some of those out. Okay, I'm going to play it four times now and um, uh, I will add bits of different things as we're going along. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tune as much as I did. 
If you'd like a PDF of the sheet music, do subscribe to the channel and send me an email. And if you want to get hold of all of my PDFs, and if you want to help to keep these videos coming, do please consider joining me on Patreon, and there you can get all of my PDFs in one go. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.